Hi everyone, Henry here. So I've been asking myself, how fast can you deploy an Ethereum node? And I've been deploying a few Ethereum nodes on in the past, but uh, now I want to try to deploy an Ethereum node on the cloud. So I want to deploy an Ethereum node on the AWS cloud. AWS is the cloud that I'm more familiar with. And I'm going basically to uh, get an EC2 instance from AWS, deploy an Ethereum node and uh, synchronize the nodes. And I want to share with you all the step-by-step. -step. Uh, if you want, you can follow along and we'll see how fast it is to deploy the Ethereum node, deploy GET uh, and all the tools that we need to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. And then we are going to leave the uh, node synchronizing. And I'm going to share with you how long did it take to synchronize the Ethereum nodes um, with the blockchain. There are different kinds of nodes that we can deploy. We have the sync modes, fast, sync modes, light, and sync mode full. I'm not going to do the full one because it will take probably a little bit too long. And for most of the people, the light nodes, it's enough. And the difference between a full node and the light node on the Ethereum blockchain is that the full node, you are downloading the entire ledger, including all the transactions. So it takes a lot of space. While a light node, it takes also a little bit of space. You will need at least a few gigabytes, but uh, I think you deploy only the headers, if I'm not wrong. And uh, it takes still takes time to um, uh, to download all the headers of the blockchain and, and for the node to verify a number of transactions on the blockchain, on verify a number of blocks, but it's faster than the uh, full node because I don't want to stay, no, nobody want to stay here for a few hours, right? And uh, you know what? We are going to do this live. We'll do it live! Okay. Join me and uh, if you want, you can follow along. All right, let's do this. Let's deploy our Ethereum node and let's see how fast we can go. Um, just straight to the point, if you don't have an AWS account, you can open an AWS account, you can put your credit card. Probably to deploy an Ethereum node, you pay just very little money if you just shut it down afterwards. And you also have the AWS free tier. That means that uh, for a number of hours, they offer you like 700, 750 hours or something like that. Um, but uh, I'm going to use more than free tier, but I want because I want to test how fast we can do this, how fast we can synchronize a node. So I want to deploy a little bit more a powerful server. Okay, so I selected EC2. Uh, EC2 uh, stands for Elastic Compute Cloud Computing. Elastic Compute something. Okay, whatever. This is basically the servers that you can deploy on AWS. And I'm going to uh, click here, Launch Instance and we are going to launch a new EC2 instance. You can uh, choose different operating systems as you can see here. I'm going to select the Ubuntu server. And um, in this page, you can select the instance type. As you can see here, we have the T2 micro uh, free tier eligible, but it's only one CPU and one gigabyte memory. And the Ethereum node is a bit memory intensive. Okay, it requires a little bit of memory. So if you deploy like more weak EC2 instance, it may crash, um, it may be slow, and in this case, I just want to be fast, okay? Um, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and select this T2 extra large, which is four vCPU, virtual CPUs, and 16 uh, gigabytes of memory. And let's go ahead and click configure. Uh, I want to request a spot instance because it's cheaper, and I want to save a little bit of money. Uh, and and by the way, do only the spot instance if this is if you are not talking about a production application because if for instance this price goes up and and it, it surpasses your maximum price, this is just like a bid and you just lose um, access to your EC2 instances. It just shut it down. Okay, I want to assign a public IP address because I need to collect connect with the other Ethereum nodes on the blockchain. Uh, so I'll select enable. Next, as storage, I'm not sure how much storage I will I should add, but I think we are going to need a little bit of storage. We are going to be downloading a lot of stuff from the Ethereum blockchain to synchronize the nodes. Okay, so I'm going to select 250 gigabytes of general purpose SDD. If you want to make it even faster, probably you could do like a provision as IOPS, uh, which is even faster. 
but uh, as you can see here in terms of input output per second we are going to get uh, 750 and plus the burst ball up to 3000 IOPS per second which is pretty good and uh, I'm going to create a tag just to name it my ETH uh, nodes all right security groups I uh, have the uh, SSH port 22 open which is what I what I need okay reviewing launch yes sounds good I'm going to launch and I'm going to use the my YouTube demo key pair that I already have and I'm going to use this key pair to SSH okay so your instances are now launching and if we click here we are going to see it's going to be pretty fast pretty 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 fast to do it all right so your uh, our instance is already running it took like 10 seconds to deploy the instance they are still initializing the status check uh okay but whatever uh, it's already running and you have here all the information of this ec2 instance but what i want to do now is to connect so let's click connect here so i'm going to use uh, this ec2 instance connect and it's just going to click connect all right so we are in so this is basically we are uh, have ssh to the instance and you see here a bunch of data and we can start now running commands Okay, once you connect or SSH to your Ubuntu, new Ubuntu machine, woo, uh, you can run the following command so that we can, so that you can install the packages that we will need. So, okay, I just clean uh, the uh, screen and let's start with uh, sudo apt get install. Uh, I need to type sudo to get, all right. Okay, now uh, I want to do sudo apt get update. He's updating my uh, packages. Now I want to install the Ethereum repository. Okay, let, let me just clear the screen and sudo apt repository PPA Ethereum. Uh, yes, I want to do this. Press enter to continue okay it's done now i want to um, update this package and i want to install also the ethereum get so that we can interact with the blockchain so let's run this command do you want to continue yes of course i want okay now that is have completed uh let's uh if I type get minus all, what do I get? I get the help from get from the Ethereum interface, okay? So I already have Ethereum get, means that I can already start interacting with the blockchain, okay? So let's clear the screen. All right, and now that we have get installed and we see that it's working, I'm going to do get minus minus sync mode fast because I want to be fast synchronizing with the blockchain. And let's go ahead and click enter. Ta-da! Done! So this is how fast it is to deploy and start synchronizing the node. Yes, start, because it may take a little bit of time to actually, yeah, synchronize. So let, let me open another uh, connect window here and uh, I want to show you just that uh, we can we can uh, now that we are already synchronizing with the blockchain, our node is connected to other peer nodes. We can interact with the blockchain, so we can use commands like uh, get attach, and uh, so this is now the. Um, um the uh, uh, javascript console that we use to interact with the blockchain and we can uh, do like uh, a few a few commands so for example if you want to check if you are actually uh, synchronizing you can type eth dot sync thinking no false really okay probably is still looking for peers peer count one maybe it's already sinking okay let me try again 
false. Oh. Ah, here it is. So it's already syncing and you can see the current block that he's downloading. He's in the block 4000 something. Okay, he's so way behind. This is like years and years ago at the very beginning. But you can see here that every time I do ETH syncing, the block, the current block is growing, meaning that I'm downloading the blockchain. I'm downloading uh, all the blocks. Uh, so this is cool and this is how easy it is to deploy in Ethereum nodes uh, and, and synchronize. Now, if I have these Ethereum nodes, I could use the get console, this console here, to do tons of things. I can type uh, admin peers and uh, see um, who are the peers that I'm connected with and I can even see their IP address as you can see here. And I can also retrieve uh, blocks of data. Uh, let's see, I could do now, let's see, ETH dot um, get block. By the way, if you press tab, he auto completes or he'll give you the suggestions. So I want to get ETH block and I want to get a pretty low block because he is still uh, synchronizing in this block here. So I want to get the block I don't know one five 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 and here is the block how cool is this and you can like, get more data get the transactions and everything you want all right let's take a look at our node again it's synchronizing it's doing very well and uh, I will pause the video and come back later once this is fully synchronized hey so you know what? It took me like more than 24 hours to synchronize these nodes. But it was my fault, okay? It was my fault. So basically, when I started to, when I deployed these Ethereum nodes, right? I've uh, made, uh, I reserved like 250 gigabytes. But I've kind of underestimated a bit because actually it required quite a lot more space than 250 gigabytes. It actually required like 88% of 436 gig gigabytes. Okay, how much is this? Yeah, and I had to stop the node and come back and uh, increase the size of my storage uh, the on, on the AWS. So 88% times uh, 436 gigabytes. So it will require me to synchronize, fully synchronize the Ethereum nodes, 383 gigabytes of data. Um, okay, and it was like 24 hours because I went to sleep and all that stuff. But I guess that you could completely synchronize a node with a nice EC2 instance on AWS in about maybe 12 hours. It will take like this 12 hours for your nodes to download from the peer nodes about 383 gigabytes of data. Whoa, it's quite a lot. But uh, yeah, it was a good experiment and I hope you have enjoyed and I hope I can help somehow if you need to deploy an Ethereum nodes. I hope this was a, a good help. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and follow my channel. I'll be doing more cool stuff like this.